little Sai here. This is the final video of the little shop build. We aren't totally done, but done enough to move my stuff in there. So here we go. Since we decided to add on a deck, husband used this device that uses blanks to shoot anchor bolts into the concrete. And it worked very well. And I think he had a lot of fun. Wild Wild West, watch out! We jump-started the weekend project by working on it for a few hours Thursday night. And I am pretty sure that was because he wanted to shoot those anchor bolts. But anyway, we quit at this point after we had the deck laid out. And I was glad because during the night I thought about the size of the deck and I wondered if it was big enough. The next day it was so nice outside, husband thought it would be a good idea to paint the shop before we put up the deck. So we rented a sprayer and started painting while I put plastic over the door and windows. We chose a light gray color that doesn't match the house exactly since we had mixed up our own color for the house, but it's close enough. And husband was able to do two coats in just a short time. We were afraid that we we're going to run out of paint, so I had to watch the bucket level because it was getting so low and make sure that the tip of the sprayer would suck it up. We ended up with about a cup left of paint. We talked about the deck size and husband agreed and thought it would be a good idea to make it a little bit bigger. So he dug some holes for posts and he set those in concrete. One of my jobs was putting some stain on the 2x6s to get some protection on them. I was doing only one side and then we were putting the treated side down onto the deck. We used some leftover pine boards from the guest room walls as spacers between the boards. The concrete set up in no time, so husband added some brackets and we finished the extended section of the deck. We are both so glad that we added this extra little part. Then I ended up painting the top sides right away just to get some protection on the wood, even though we figured it might get rained on before it dries. And it did. And it also got dirty before it dried. We figure it's better to get dirty than ruined from the rain. Husband added a step and we may make it a bit wider but we plan on pouring a small concrete step so I can add my compass mosaic in there. Then we were talking about the arched part of the sides of the shop. We talked about getting more T111, then husband thought of tongue and groove cedar. He thought it might be easier and it might look really cool. He ended up cutting off part of the groove so it would act more like a lap and this made it much easier to put on. My son Jared and his wife Vika came over and he gave me a lesson on picking out avocados. While husband finished up this side of the cedar, I worked on caulking. This stuff dries clear, which is nice since we just painted it. And we both agree that the cedar looks awesome. Now I want to do it on the house. We had enough cedar left over to add it to the big door. As he finished that up, I put a coat of polyurethane on the cedar on the top. Then Vika came out to see our progress as I was putting a coat on the awesome door. We first plan on making a railing around the deck, so we put posts up to do that, but decided not to since the deck is only about a step high. 
So husband took a few posts down, but left some and added solar lights to the top. And they add just a little smidgen of light. And then husband put on some lattice, and that's where we are now. We have some more things to finish on it and a bit more paint to do, but it's all ready for me to move my things from the shed. Woohoo! So thanks for joining us, everybody, and I will see you next time from inside of the new shop.